realize I am not an expert at planking. But I have learned a few things that may help you if you're a novice at this like I am. I'm sure I will improve with time as I do more work on ships. These little clips have been very handy, but every once in a while it's too wide and I've got some wider clips. But I've also discovered that you can use straight pins. So let me uh, get one ready and I'll show you how I do that. What I've been doing is soaking the planks in water. This is actually soaked overnight so that they'll curve. And then I just rough cut here at the front. I'll put it in position get an idea of the angle and then I just kind of snip that off at that angle. It's worked out fairly well and now I'm going to use my plank bender. This is heated up. Make sure I bend it the right direction. And this takes a little bit of patience. You can see it's slowly starting to bend, kind of rocking this heated iron back and forth. So then once I get the curve approximate, and I can tell I need to bend it a little more through here. It does have some flex to it, especially after you've soaked it overnight or for a few hours. So I should be ready to put this on. At one point I purchased from um, Model Expo these clamps that are supposed to be for planking. And you can see it would hold it like this. This would go around the rib, but this ended up being too wide for the small ones and too narrow for the large ones. So I've pretty much given up on those on this particular ship. So this will work on this part. When I get here they're too wide. So I've got things that I try and use but I'm going to try and use straight pins this time. What I'm going to do is do the first four with super glue and then I'll do the rest because I'll be able to flex it out. So. So on the very end, I'll hold that in place so it won't pop out. And then what I'm doing is I'm pushing upward and inward. That'll hold that. And then when I get here, I need a pin. And what I've been using is this tool that you can insert the pin in and I might even be able to go right through the wood. And then I'm going to bend that. So that's going to hold that very tight. So this technique may work even better. So I'm going to go ahead and raise all these up and put a little super glue in there all the way down the line. When I get to this last one, I'm just going to put it right on the edge. Now, you know what, I'm going to stop at this one. So once I get that in place, so as you can see, this is the place where I went in too far. Then along here I did better. I did. Uh, 
my tool slipped off and kind of cracked that piece of wood there, but I'll fill that in with wood putty and then sand it off. And then some of these went better than others. This was a good technique where I went off to the, you know, down below it and then slanted into the board to hold it in place. This one kind of bent. This one I drove all the way in, so it pushed it in too far again, but again, sanding or putty. And this is the technique I like the best. I went in below the board and I'm holding it up. And this is where I will trim it off in just a minute, right along where this framing is, so that the next one can rest on this frame also. So I'll put that last little piece in. Again, I'm not the best at planking, but these will be sanded down, and then I will put a, a top coat. I think I said uh, black oak. The actual top coat is black walnut. My apologies for that. What I'm doing now is shaping this plank to fit right in here. What I've done, I've kind of shaped it with the, uh, the knife blade, and I'm smoothing it out on this uh, sanding tab. Ideally, I want this to be smooth. I'll still stain it. Uh, it'll be stained the uh, dark mahogany. So that'll, I've decided that's how I'm going to proceed. You do have to be careful when I'm sanding. I've been taking this, this sanding block because these are pretty thin wood and I need something to set on it so I can sand without risking breaking those off. I've just been using this drum sander and get rid of some of these uneven areas. And that's what's nice about pre-staining your planking so you can see the dark space. So that's a dip and I can try and smooth that out or put a little putty. On this one I'm probably going to put some wood putty. I'm just finishing up. I have just a couple low spots that I took some uh, just uh, wood putty. It says plastic wood putty, all purpose. Fill that in and then I've just kind of scraped it off. So as soon as this dries, which I'll wait till tomorrow, I've actually got the entire ship sanded to my satisfaction. I've never really built anything this large. If you've seen some of my other videos, I've made some small, inexpensive ships. And this overall is inexpensive compared to uh, what's out there on the market. But I'm not, I'm not striving for perfection. I'm not striving for a museum quality build. I just am interested as a beginner hobby. And this was an inexpensive starter set. And I'm actually getting kind of excited about it and kind of proud of it. So stick with me. We'll let this dry. And I'll try and figure out what the next step should be. I'm hoping that those of you that are watching this series, maybe you're like me. You didn't want to invest a lot of money, but you've always wanted to give this a try. And even though it's been difficult, I'm hoping that by my making this, if you have this same model, it'll help you when you get stuck in a, a, a spot. Okay, I have put a coat of stain on the, what, the lowest level or underside of the planking. I'm going to put planking on top of this, but if there's any light, I didn't want it to show through, so that's why I went ahead and restained it. I keep learning things as I go. I should not have attached this upper deck yet because there were things I needed to do inside. Uh, do some like wood paneling on the side walls, things like that. So leave this off um, well into the construction even after you put furnishings in the captain's uh, quarters. So that was another error that I come across that I did.
And this is, actually I even kind of like this look, but I've already committed to doing the outside, the entire thing in black walnut. So I'll keep working and post another episode once I have some reasonable progress.